if you're going to trust yourself and your life and your gear and everything to a pack, you know, you probably want it to be somebody who has been there and done that. And I can tell you, man, the leadership at Crossfire, they know what the frick they're doing, guaranteed. All right, guys, welcome to the ready room. Let's talk about the Crossfire packs. We've got the CF1, could be a legit assault pack or day bag, and then we've got the CF2. I'm using it for my winter loadout. But if you're looking for an overview on these packs, well, I'm not gonna do one because it's already been done. So. If you want to see all the features of these laid out in a orderly fashion by dudes who know what they're talking about, go check out Alpha Charlie Concepts. His video will be linked down in the description. He gives a great overview on these packs and that means I don't have to do it. All right, so let's start with the CF1 because that is my summer bag, pretty much. That's what we're in, so that's what we're working with. So for some of you who don't know the differences between these packs, it's all about size. That's what she said. The Crossfire 1, CF1, is anywhere from 12 to 26 liters. CF2 is about 37 liters slick. You can max that out to about 60 liters. That's with an extra lid um, and all the extra pouches you can get. Your CF3 is your 55 liter slick, and then you can get it up to about 75. For me personally, I don't see myself needing anything larger than the CF2, and we're gonna cover that. So let's just talk about some of the things that I like and some uses for these. Okay, first of all, you will see I have some Molly kit mounted to this one. So they do have Molly on some areas of the pack. Right here, you'll see they have their own mounting system. That is very special, and that's one of the best features of these packs. So if you buy the CF1, you're gonna get the pack and this little outside pouch with a netting on the outside, we'll get to that. But if you want some of the pouches, like the sustainment pouches, they call this a baguette. Um, forgot what they called this, but this is a pouch that can hold magazines and stuff and actually retain them for you. Um, you're gonna pay extra for these. If you get the Crossfire 3, I was told they include a couple of their pouches. Okay, so bear that in mind. If you get CF1 and 2, at least last I was told, you're gonna buy some pouches extra. Now, what's special about these? All right, well, let's talk about Molly. I came in with the Alice stuff where, you know, it's a freaking buckle, a little clip. You put it onto your Alice suspension system. Most of us carry the same stuff all the time and we just have to adjust our packs for sustainment. But as far as fighting load, what we're wearing, you know, I've probably worn the same setup for years. If I took out my LCE from 15 years ago, it would be set up exactly the same, mag pouches, everything in the same place, still tied down, and I would never have to move them again. Okay, so the military defies the Molly system. Don't know what the acronym stands for, don't care. But the Molly stuff is basically we got some molly here, but you know, the molly, you've got to weave a heavy duty nylon strap through this in and out, in and out, and then you're going to snap it down here at the bottom. So the whole point, I think modular is the M. The whole point is for guys to realize they're going out on a specific mission, a different type of mission, or maybe they're deployed and they just got there and they're learning their gear. Well, the molly system would allow guys to remove pouches and put them in different areas, come up with different configurations. Okay, cool. But if you wanna use Molly for its intended purpose and actually have it stay on your stuff and not fall off, a lot of guys would cheat and just slide the Molly down one end and snap it on the bottom 
it's loose, that snap can come undone, and you've lost your pouch. So there's no real fast way to change molly stuff, all right? With all that weaving crap in and out of webbing, it's not that fast. And if you're moving multiple pouches around, like getting used to a new loadout, yeah, you're gonna be screwing with molly forever. It's a pain in the ass. So the crossfire system, what's very cool about it is you have these simple buckles or tabs, and that goes simply into their little hole and you pull it through there. Now there is a fast way to do this to where you slide it in there and you leave this little pull tab or this string sticking out. So if you wanna remove that, you just pull on all these and it comes right out. Now, does it hold up as well as Molly? Well, in my experience, absolutely. You can see uh, Brent0331 and some other guys, Alpha Charlie Concepts talking about theirs and no issues. Now, the only thing is you've just got to make sure you got it in there really well. And this plastic piece has to absolutely be completely inside of the strap that it goes into. So the mounting system is very cool. All right, so the CF1, we've got about a 16 liter pack, all right? So um, I just did a pretty long hike yesterday, so I got a bunch of extra crap on it. So what I like about this pack is the size. Um, this is what we would call an actual assault pack okay people are going out with these giant backpacks on their back something maybe this size and calling it an assault pack an assault pack is something a grunt or one of y'all's operators is going to run in on to go kick in doors and shoot bad guys or maybe do a, a patrol and it's not really a sustainment load your assault bag is going to be light slick and not bulky because it's basically just a little bit of extra sustainment that you can't carry on yourself but you're not bringing sleeping bags and four days worth of food and all that all right so you'll notice this kind of a kangaroo pouch out here some people call it like a game pouch or something but you've got buckles you can loosen it up or you can just open it completely but essentially this gives you extra like tons of extra storage all right so i was going out on a hike i needed a lot of water some snacks and then i just wanted to throw some extra things in there without throwing them in my pouches or anything so you can basically extend the capacity of your pack by about that much right so you can fit small game in there if you're out there hunting um, if you just need uh some kind of mesh pouch to throw crap in like a lot of guys have been using dump pouches for something like that and I never liked doing that. But you've got all this expansion here just to throw crap into, right? So we got a freaking spotting scope in there. This comes off very quickly, right? So let's go ahead and get it off. Now, I have abused this pack. When we're talking about building packs, these guys know what they're doing. So the zipper is fine, it's robust, it's held up through mud and dust and everything I put it through. You've got a little Velcro retention right here to aid in protecting that zipper. And then you've got these little plastic things that can go into that loop, and that just holds it on a little bit better. You don't have to worry about this thing coming off. I haven't had problems anyway. I don't use them because I like to be able to take this off quick. So that expansion pouch, you've got a small pocket here up top. I've got some coins and stuff in there. You've got another pocket on the inside down here. All right, so there's plenty of room to put stuff. Look at that dust. So that's cool, but you can take it off if you don't want that, all right? So now we're starting to get a little more slick. And once again, I like to have these because I just love being able to cram something down on my pack without digging into pouches and stuff like that. Okay, so now what we got what they call their baguette, right? So I got, I don't know, baby wipes and power banks, some other crap I wanted to have on the hike. And that's right here on the outside of this pack. So if you don't want that, you can take that off. You can put one of these smaller pouches on there, especially for uh, holding magazines. And they've got their entire system all the way down it. And let's just go ahead and show you that. See how easy that is? And then they've got Molly down it as well, all the way down. So they've got their system and Molly, right? So you've got some freaking options there. That's cool. Now, I'm not going to do a pack dump, all right? And I'm not going to do an overview because, again, you can go watch Alpha Charlie Concepts. Probably, he's a much better dude to describe this stuff than me. I always love when these packs let you open almost all the way. It comes with a water bladder retainer that'll go down in there. Or you can just throw your water bladder in this mesh net right here. You got a pocket there. Double zippers. That's a must, all right? 
Um, this top pocket is really cool. It's kind of recessed into the main compartment. It's padded, all right? So if you're traveling with a firearm that you do want to lock up or you just want to keep out of sight, that's a good place to put that. But it's a nice giant freaking upper pocket to throw stuff in. So it's comfortable to wear. You can pack it full and not have to worry about anything. It's, it's military freaking tough. Let me get these straps back on. Now, let me just go ahead and, and warn you guys. Uh, if you want a good pack that you're probably going to have forever, you're going to freaking pay, right? So I don't want to see any crying about the price. You guys want quality stuff, you're going to pay for it. A really cool function here. So let's say I'm not using this mesh expansion part and I don't want all these buckles hanging off, right? Their system is extremely easy. And I like the military crap. You see that? That's one. It's just this simple little retainer that you just pull it right through. Let's break open a pouch for you. All right, so this is what they call their baguette. You know, you can mount it like this on some of their packs or, or you might mount it vertical, depends on how you do it. I've actually fit my one liter steel Nogin bottle in here because I didn't have anywhere else to put it. But you've only got one zipper on this one. But what's cool is they give you these little mesh dividers in here, right? So you've got two. So, you know, you've got two separate compartments with mesh on the inside. That's kind of cool, having that little bit of divider. And so that kind of keeps things organized in there. And that has a double, uh, double zipper as well. So you don't have to open both to get to one pocket, right? So you got that. And then the rest of your crap just goes in the main compartment. And there you go. I've been able to fit a full day of food. We're talking 3,500 calories with snacks in one of these. So that's pretty cool. And then we've got, I forgot what they call these pouches, but it doesn't open all the way and it's a single zipper, but you can fit all kinds of crap in here. I could probably fit half a day of sustainment in here. At least one stripped MRE will go in there. That'll give me about 2,000 ish calories, but it's stripped. So it's stuff that I'll actually eat. And then you've got these elastic bands in here. So you can throw your magazine in there and it's not gonna flop all over the place and bang against each other or make a bunch of noise. Then you've also got room to throw some other stuff in there. Can you fit two magazines on top of each other? Let's see. Yes, that actually wasn't even that hard. So you can do two magazines on each side. So each one can carry four extra mags for you with a little bit of room for other stuff. Very cool. Why is this guy's stuff empty? All right, so this pack is for, we'll say late spring and through summer, okay? This is when most of my weight is gonna be water or something to deal with water with and food and stuff i don't need a lot of sleeping gear i could fit my hammock and a tarp in here jungle hammock and a tarp that's all i freaking need in the hot months if we're actually doing like stealthy ops and stuff you know i could easily fit my poncho and my little bug net that i sleep in in here and we're good to go and then again you got all this expansion on the outside so when you're in the field trying to break down an op or your campsite and you just your shit's getting stuffed. Well, you can expand this and you can just cram shit down there and you'll be okay. And they've got so many straps on it, you can cinch it down to where things aren't just flopping around loose and falling out of here, right? So let's get our spot and scope back in there. All right, so now let's say we're getting into fall, winter, and early spring where it's cold as shit and I gotta be warm, right? That's when we're gonna graduate to the CF2, which can go up to 45 liters, I said, something like that. Now this is your ruck. We call it a ruck. It's gonna be your sustainment bag, all right? So this is where we are doing long-term stuff, definitely overnights, like planned overnights, planned multi-day events. I've actually done a winter OP video using this bag. All right, so again, I'm not gonna do an overview. You guys can go watch Alpha Charlie do that, right? So you've got their mounting system all over it. So I've got one of their baguettes on the side. This is where I actually threw a water bottle in there last minute. 
right? So you can mount another one over here and you've got four days of sustainment. Or you can mount one of these up there and you've got your extra magazines. Okay, so here is a day's, let's see what we got in here. Okay, so we got two MRE meals. We've got our chicken snack. We've got electrolyte powders. we got some coffee. Oh, we got two chicken packs. Okay, so this is actually a full day of sustainment. Uh, missing a couple protein bars. Oh, no, there it is. Okay, so this is a full day of sustainment right here in food. One day, not freaking nighttime and morning. This is a day, right? So this is about 2,500 calories right there in that freaking pouch. Another thing you could do you could mount one of these small ones on the outside, on the other side. And if you need some serious expansion, well, check this out. Running down the front or back side of the rut, whatever we're going to call it. I say it back because that's where my back is facing back. You guys could argue that in the comments. Well, you can fit two of these baguettes right down the back. I like to put the zipper on the top. So if it happens to get bumped in the field, not all my crap's falling out. Um, or if I'm opening the dark or my ruck's upside down in the dark and I don't know what's happening, I can kind of feel for the top and I can make sure I get it open without freaking dumping everything out. That's good for me. So if we're talking about more than three days and it's in colder months, that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll strap all of these freaking pouches on there and just use as much room as I can. And if it's winter time, then we're probably talking about at least my shelter or some part of my sleep system not even going in there. It's going to be stacked up here, here on top. And then we're barely closing this. But they give you plenty of room to work with. And when I said 37 liters slick, you know, I don't have everything in there. This is actually a, a summer camping bag. So you can actually pack this thing up. And if you're like, dang, man, the bag's too big. Well... You know, you can cinch it down and compress it. Even though you're not using all the capacity, you don't have this big bulky thing with all your stuff flying around in there. All right. You can open it straight down the middle, either from the top or the bottom. That is cool. So you can just pull your stuff out. All right. Yeah. So we got our hammock camping set up in there. Um, and we're not dealing with rain, so I don't want to hear about waterproofing. I'm not crossing creeks because they're dried up right now. And there is zero rain zero don't even need a tarp the only reason i bring a poncho is to get some overhead camo this is where we start to have fun so the suspension system you know alpha charlie covered that very comfortable very robust ergonomic extremely adjustable i mean i'm still finding adjustments on this damn thing all right but i was sent some extra padding for your hips and kidneys and I'm fine with the standard ones, but you can actually order the softer ones, right? If you need the softer ones. Um, you've got Molly on your hip belts, all right? Cause you're gonna, that's where you're gonna put your smaller items to mount on there. And then you've got all kinds of freaking Molly straps. Well, basically nylon straps all down up top here. So that's usually where radio hand mic goes flashlights, you know, extra doodads, last minute. Um, and then with the pockets, holy crap. So you've got a top small compartment up here that has multiple compartments in it. You've got this larger one here that opens up to mesh. So this is just a giant throw your ski mask, freaking balaclava, whatever in there real quick. Batteries and stuff. And then it opens to this mesh to another zipper where you can see stuff. And it's like, okay, what is that? Well, you can open that and that takes you to the underside of the flap where you've got this part. Okay. So you can throw some maybe sensitive items in here. And if you don't want to undo these buckles, it's not a lot of work, but if you don't want to undo those and you just want to get to that, you can get to it from the top. Right there, you grab your stuff out, boom. Pretty cool feature. I like how they have this uh, rubberized handle on these. 
I'm pretty sure in the sun, these are going to start to wear out after a while if you've got some really strong UV. But it's no problem, man. You throw some duct tape over it now and protect it. So instead of opening your main compartment, I'll show you that in a minute, you have a double zipper here and you can just open that. If you know something is right up here up top, you've got access to your main compartment. I think that's a cool feature. Um, also, the Savada rucks always had a problem with their stupid carrying handles. The And other rucks do that too. The Crossfire one, you can put your carrying handle in there and it's got this heavy ass freaking whatever the hell you want to call it that keeps it in there secured and when i want it i can find it all right and people ask well why is that a problem well i don't know sometimes when i'm rucking or i've got gear on and things start to get pushed up this carrying handle starts to hit me and bug the crap out of me silly thing but whatever their closing system all right this is very cool so you've got a simple drawstring just like the old alice and it's freaking tough you ain't gonna break it and that is easy to close. So we tuck our drawstrings in. Now, what if we need to open it? You know, the Alice had this little pinch buckle thing. This, you just pull this tab and it's loose and it's opened. And as you draw it, and then, then you got your freaking access. As you draw this down, you just slam this device down and it's already fixed for you. Very cool. Opens up quick, outstanding. You can also, open it completely if you zip it up or if you zip it open down from the front well here's one of your other secure doodads i wish i could remember their system but now <laughs> if you're gonna do a ruck dump let's do it the right way there's your hydration little protector retention bag all right you got a buckle to tighten it and you've got these little compartments on the side that are very cool so mesh pockets and you can throw stuff down there. Like I think in the winter, I put my camo net, my snow camo net in one side. Then I had some extra food on the inside. So just things that you don't want freaking fumbling, bumbling around your main compartment. Maybe some things that don't have to be in your, your main water bag, your waterproof bag, and, and you can just throw them in there. Things like that where you need to get access to them, but you don't want to have to pull your whole freaking waterproof bag out and dig through it, right? That's what clothes and other garbage and stuff at your campsites for again man they think of everything if you don't want this mesh in here or let's say you've destroyed it over time they've got their little release system here you can just pull those out and you've just got a slick inside your camelback retention compartment you can pull that out and get rid of it so when we talk about design like if you watch uh, alpha charlie concepts videos on this these people know what they're doing right I don't. <laughs> Throwing everything around. These are the guys that have lived and breathed what we do. Combat arms, combat lifestyle, just rugged outdoors. Um, I know one of the guys, he's, he's done like serious alpine freaking climbing. So if you're going to trust yourself and your life and your gear and everything to a pack, you know, you probably want it to be somebody who has been there and done that. And I can tell you, man, the leadership at Crossfire, they know what the frick they're doing, guaranteed. So we're gonna keep playing with it and you guys are gonna see these in more videos because uh, between these two packs, this is pretty much all I freaking need. So I was able to donate a couple things to other guys that come out here and those are their packs. So I've got my nice new shiny cool ones and they got the junk I used to play with. No, but these are outstanding packs, man. Um, Crossfire. Again, you're going to pay for the quality and you're going to pay for the experience that gets put into these, but I say it's friggin' 100% worth it, man. So y'all stay tuned for the updates and I'll see you out there.